Cardi. Cardi, what's up, girl? What's up? You know what? Are you trying to be... You trying to make me look like a fool out here in these streets. See, you a sneaky one, Cardi. I saw your video. I did uh, a recap of it. Did y'all see the recap? If you did not, check out the recap on my channel, The Messy Sweet Spot. And you fast forward something that you said. She goes, well, I, I put out a, a song or a remix and Shorty felt some type of way or whatever. And she said it so casually as if Cardi B. I went back and I listened to that, that tape you dropped. And I talked to some other people out here. And they said that whole diss was about Bia. You done talked about her body. You said that um, she is a lesser value of you because you got all that surgery and she don't. You was body shaming her. Uh, you was talking about uh, that she is nobody that she is uh, not talented. They said you said a lot about her and you wanna sit up here and act like it was subliminal, but we all know who it was. And Bia, she felt, she already knew what was up because you already told us you felt that she put out a rumor about you, about you having a freaky tape out here in these streets. Several people said it was Bia that was going around here saying that she has a freaky tape of you, okay? You could not get a confirmation, but you said your spirit didn't feel right. So you jump on a record to diss her without putting the name on it, but we all know who it was. And now she responds, and now you want to come out here and play victim, Come on now. Come on. What? Cardi. Cardi. And then I'm hearing that Bia didn't even start the rumor, but it came from your own boyfriend. Shall we talk about it or shall we talk about it? Y'all better share the live. No, nah, this ain't no live. Share the video. Okay, share the video. I just want to let you guys know I am your host, Miss Gigi. Welcome to the Messy Sweet Spot. Yeah, I had to put my ghetto ass wig on for y'all, okay? I had this old red synthetic. I was like, honey, let me bust this shit on down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you see what you see on my neck? You see it's always boss, always giving boss moves. What's up? Shit, I'm bossy. I'm the first bitch on the track, okay? <laughs> you know I don't know the words and shit. But I be feeling it. It's it's the spirit of the bossy song. Shout out to Khalees. So, okay, you know I, you know it's old hoes. Okay, <laughs> okay, iconic hoes in this bitch. All right, so I wanna play this, and then I want to talk about Jesse Wu. So yes, you see Jesse Wu is in the title. I discovered her. Well, she's already been around, but I just went to her channel recently and I saw her talking about Cardi B and honey she had a lot of stuff to say about you Cardi B and she is schooling you if you listen and you know how she said it I'll be forgetting Cardi B you can't write <laughs> I forgot I'll be forgetting and that's why they said that Bia she came back at you real fast because she's a writer she does this for real she is talented However, they say that you have to get party to write your stuff, you know, so it doesn't really come from you. It comes from party speaking within you or whatever. Okay, so damn, how does party feel? He can make a hit for everybody but his damn self, right? <laughs> Bitch, this shit is a mess, ain't it? Okay, and he married a female rapper. He just love rap females, okay? <laughs> His ex is a female rapper. He writes for female rappers. He's dating a female rapper. Do he want to be a fucking female rapper? <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm joking. Okay, shit. You never know. The Saucy Santana, y'all ass might have some competition, okay? But who do y'all think will win? Party <laughs> versus Saucy Santana in a lyrics. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, Cause you know they already said Sasha Santana, you need to hang it up, dude. Okay, and you need to write for females. But you know what? I shout out to Sasha Santana. 
LGBT Pride. Shout out. Happy Pride, y'all. Hey. Yes. Um, because he said, I'm not writing for females. He is the baddest bitch. So that's what he's going to do. But honey, I wonder if party, you know, I'll be wondering, shit, you party right for females, but what if party could go against Sus Santana and like party be playing like he gay? <laughs> okay, let me, let me play this shit. You know, uh. Party be on get on Sasha Santana level so they can rap battle. You know what I mean? Or they need to get with a female and write the write their lyrics for them and see. I don't know. I'm just talking shit. Let's go. All right. So here we go. Messy person from Atlanta. I feel like you know. So oh, let, oh I'm gonna show y'all naked pictures of me. So whole point is right. I was trying to get to the bottom of it. I want to know if she's saying it. Or I want to know if it's somebody from, you know, just trying to be messy. So it was like, okay, I, f I feel like maybe it was somebody trying to be messy. But I find it very weird because the producer is standing 10. So this part, she's trying to figure out where's the rumor coming from. She has not gotten confirmation from Bia that Bia started it. All she have heard is people going around the city saying Bia is showing them an X tape of Cardi B. Okay, and she's going based off other people. Okay, and people want to know, Cardi, are you lying? Cardi, are you well? They said, Cardi, you, we already know you deal with a lot of mental situations going on. Are you sure you're not making this up? Can you bring in... The producer dude and the lady that said that Bia did X, Y, and Z because it's just hearsay. How can we believe you? I don't know. I want to believe you. But then how you skipped over the part that you made a whole diss record about this girl first. But okay. Um, so she's trying to figure out, you know, did Bia say that it's an X tape on her. That's what she's trying to figure out. And toes down that she told him some shit about me. And it's like, hmm, saying that ain't adding up. Like, I don't like this. Like, saying, saying ain't adding up. Like, hmm, saying ain't adding up. So fast forward, I put... Hi, welcome to... Sorry about that. Y'all know these commercials, but I love them, okay? And I'm on my channel, so I don't mind commercials coming up here. Make sure y'all like. Take this moment to like this video and share. Hold on. Hold on, Cardi. Come on. I put my record out. Yes. No, not my record. I put this remix out. And, you know. <laughs> so she put the remix out after she felt that Bia was talking about her. At one point, she was like, well, maybe she's not. But then after she talked to the male producer, she was like, nah, that's not adding up. This bitch is out here gossiping about me. And then that's when she made the diss song or diss remix or some shit like that. I'm surely feeling a certain type of way or whatever. So niggas send me this. They send me this. They send me So you see how she just escaped that little part? I, I did a little song and she felt some type of way or whatever. Because the whole song was about her. And that's why she said, who should she diss? You or Party? Your ghostwriter. Because she knows it didn't come from you. Okay? <laughs> she knows it didn't come. You're going to get Party ass whooped. That's what's going to happen. You're going to get Party ass whooped. And what do y'all feel about a man? <laughs> Talking shit about a girl. Even though she's saying it, it's still coming from a man. He's still an author. We should whoop party ass. <laughs> girl, I'm just talking shit. Come on. Give me her, her little diss record that she got. And this is what she's saying. Hold up. That's the me. Okay, I'm not here for that. So let's go here. I just wanted to point that out because honestly... Um, I have not been keeping up with Cardi B. If you guys know over here, I have not been talking about Cardi B or any of the rap female girls in a long time. So I might, I might have to put my foot in, okay? Because a bitch is struggling, okay? 
<laughs> okay, I had a whole bunch of mega people over here, and I didn't like it, so I just wrecked shit up. Okay, I just started talking about um, F Trump and stuff, so my channel and my algorithm is kind of Yankee or whatever, so I need to find a new home. <laughs> what do y'all think? Do y'all think I should start talking and commentating on this type of community, these rap girls, just a little bit. What y'all think? Press one if you want me to put my mouth on it. Press five if you want me to think about it, okay? Hmm, don't count me out. Let's go. Okay, so I wanna go here. Jesse Wu. Shout out to Jesse, girl. You know you looking good. That skin, that makeup, that hair. Okay, come on. Let's see what she gotta say. I want y'all to hear. So I got to the part where she is uh, talking about the lyrics. Don't you know the little song that Cardi B says? Well, you know, I came out with a little song and she felt some type of way about my song. So this is the song that we're talking about. Jesse Wu is in the middle of the lyrics of Cardi B's song that this Bia, that party Partisan, the man he wrote. Check this out. I jump in the collie. Wait, collie, oh my bad. I hop out the lap, I jump in the collie. One thing about Cardi, she gonna hop in something, she gonna pop something, okay? One thing about Cardi, if all else fails, she gonna pop something, she gonna hop into something. Hickory dickory dock, she gonna pop. Shit gonna get popped, cause she gonna hop. Um... Texting your mail while I lay on my tummy, ass and titties come out when it's sunny. Guess I'm a teacher since she wanna sub me. Ah, ooh, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one, party. Um, she did what? Had no idea. Thought she was on the shelf, Ikea. That's a good one. Hope you talk like that when I see ya. Woo! Bitch, please, don't nobody wanna be ya. Cheap looking asshole, weak looking asshole, great value. Ooh, bitch, please. Don't nobody want to be her. Come on now. Come on now. Now you feeling some type of way the bitch is snapping back at you? Come on now. What is this really about? You got online to do all this huffing and puffing. What is this really about? Girl, y'all need to comment in the comment section. What's going on? Do I got it wrong? Do I have it wrong? Looking at, wait, great. Hold on, wait. Let me catch the beat, child. Cheap looking asshole, weak looking asshole, great value, me looking asshole. Now, hold on. <laughs> no. Heard that she's body shaming Bia's body because Bia don't have a lot of that surgery, okay? Wait a minute. Now wait, 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 hey, whoa, hey, 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 we're about to run, hey, whoa. Hold on. Bitch, please, don't nobody want to be her. Is she saying that Bia looks like her but the great value? No, no, no. And don't get me wrong, both women are beautiful. B is beautiful. Cardi to me is a beautiful girl naturally. I just think the surgeries, like it's just, it's, it's just gotten to be too much. It's gotten to be too much. All the stuff that she's doing now, the nose, the cheeks, the lips, the, it's just, it's a lot. And then recently people were, she said she was getting fat shamed. You're not getting fat shamed. It's just the surgeries. It's, you have such a small frame and then you're doing the hips and you're doing the, the butt. It's just, it's, it's just, it doesn't look good. I don't see anybody taking pictures of you to their doc. No, that I don't see. However, I do think that she's a pretty girl, but these surgeries, no, I don't. And then when you say that about Bia, Bia, I mean, she has a small frame. She doesn't have a uh, butt implants. She doesn't have titty implants. So, I mean, I don't know, maybe uh, other than maybe she's had a lip, a little it, lip injection or something like that, but Bia's not, she not, she not a great value looking ass, you nothing, no. 
Can we talk about it? Can we talk about it? Girl, that's a lot to unpack. Cardi, do you feel some type of way about the girls that don't have surgery? Or is it party? Do party feel some type of way? Because he is the writer. <laughs> he is the author. And we know he like girls with a lot of body. Okay? Well, they said Meg, she don't got no surgery. But then they say she does. But then her body, I think, is natural, right? I don't know. Anyway. Ooh, girl, what do y'all think? Do you guys agree with Jessie Wu? What she said about Cardi B body? Ooh, girl. Ooh, I know she didn't hurt Cardi B feelings. All I got to say is, ouch. Ouch, bitch. You goddamn, you hurt my feelings. Ouch. Woo, girl, you going to make Cardi cry. Ooh, don't tell Cardi to watch this video, y'all. Uh-uh. She said that body is a bit too much. Damn, okay. God damn it. Cardi, I didn't know Cardi. See, I haven't been around, but they said Cardi out here <laughs> feeling like y'all shit. Y'all, y'all fat shaming her because she got that fat ass. That's what she wanted, right? <laughs> she wanted that big fat ass. So how many rounds did she get? Okay. <laughs> That's what she wanted, girl. I don't, honey, she she, she got to know the, the market that she's around. You, you got a whole bunch of girls and gay guys looking at you. You know they critique the hardest shit. I can understand if she was just serving men. Like some of the men, they, they don't give up. You know what I mean? But honey... All eyes on you, and you got that big old butt like you, one of them freaky girls. You know what I'm saying? Freaky girls, it works for them, the escorts and stuff, because people want that type of fetish. But you know, in real life, girl, let me shut up. <laughs> girl, I just thought about some shit. Okay, go ahead, Jesse Wu. Jesse Wu don't need no help. Um... Girl, these bitches be pussy. Delete every tweet and looking ass hoe. I mean, there's bars here. The verse is fire. The verse is fire. Let's just keep it a hundred. The verse is fire. For me personally, I just feel like Cardi B versus Bia is not fair because you have Bia who is writing her lyrics and then you have Cardi B. It's just not fair to me personally. Now, Cardi's... I can understand that. What do you guys think? Do you think it's fair? Because Bia, she actually writes her own and it's coming from her heart. She, that's her creative gift. But Cardi, she has to pay somebody to speak for her and then she's going to recite them as if it's her own. So I can understand how, you know, if they're in competition, how could that be fair? Because it has to be, it's Cardi B and Party versus Bia at this point. Verse is fire, right? But then Cardi, you dropped out this verse, it's fire. You didn't just let it breathe. You hopped online, you got online, you played little snippets of you on the phone with Bia, but... I mean, I didn't really catch all that. It was on my timeline. I just kept scrolling. But I didn't really. Jesse Wu, you ain't miss shit because she ain't played. I, I, I didn't even hear uh, B a voice. She said, Cardi B said some. I heard Cardi B voice, but then that was it. What was the point? Bitch, play the whole clip so I can hear uh, B a and hear y'all conversations. We never got to hear the conversation. really hear her exposing Bia for real. She just exposed a conversation that they both had on the phone. She didn't give any real evidence of Bia sending out any videos to anybody. Now, I'm, I'm not saying that it didn't happen, but what I'm saying is she didn't show that. She didn't give those receipts. She just gave a couple snippets of her on the phone with Bia. And all you hear is her screaming. You don't really hear what Bia is saying at all. So again, it's like, Cause I saw a lot of people, oh, she got receipts from, from the little clip that I saw. Maybe y'all can hop in the comments and tell me if there was more to it. Cardi, just like you told Bia about the video, the ex via, what she said, Bia, put it out there, put it out there, throw it out. I'll pay you to put it out. I'll pay you a million to put it out. Okay. Put out the receipts of Bia. 
uh, exposing you or coming out with them lies, bring that producer dude or bring that lady, have them on video and expose Bia for being around here, making up rumors about your ex tape. Okay, I don't want to see no fake Texas. I want them too. It's easy. Get 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 that goddamn producer dude. FaceTime on her Instagram or that woman and say yes. Bia directly told me X, Y, and Z. And let's just clear this shit up. Do y'all think she's gonna do it? But here's the thing, and, and just keeping a, a totally 100 with, when it comes to Cardi B. Cardi B is up there as one of the biggest rappers out right now. You're seven years in one album, right? I can't imagine being that successful with only one album and finding time to constantly be on IG Live addressing other bitches who are nowhere near you, right? In your raps, you're constantly reminding us all. All these girls who have come for you, they're nowhere near you, right? Billboard top, you know, billboard charts, whatever, um, brands and all that. I don't know. Let me know. If you guys were in Cardi's position and you're this huge success, clap your hands if you would continuously hop on IG Live to address other girls who are nowhere near you. <laughs> Hell no. I told her that. I told her that, Jesse Wu. I told her. She was going to stress her out to death, Jesse Wu. Last year, she already tried to take herself out of here because of social media and what people are saying and she keeps feeding to it. Jesse, this girl been woofing and hollering for over seven years, okay? And you would think it has helped her or gave her some type of liberation that in her mind, she will be more healthier and happier. As if I'm going to cuss your ass out. And tomorrow I'm laughing and I don't give a F about that shit. I got it out of my system and I'm done with that bitch. You know what I mean? I'll cuss your ass out. But then afterward, I might hug your ass and just forget about it. I just express myself. It's not like that. It's just she cusses people out. Then she go into her room. She get real depressed. She gets sad, then she express herself online, she ran again, and it's just like this cycle, this cycle, this, what is going on, okay? But honey, yeah, she's blessed. She is so blessed. Seven years and one album, and you're so successful? Very blessed. <coughs> If I'm such a huge success, like, I, I just, I don't get it. I don't get when Nikki does it either. I don't get, I just don't get that. I don't get what that is. It's just drop your verse and be out. You said what you said, but no, then you hopped on live. You aired this phone call out and now you gave Bia ammo to hit you. And here's the thing, is Bia right? So it didn't take her months. Because this all stems from basically, I guess, the whole, um, they both did uh, the bing, 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 she's a bitch. Bia had a version of that song remix, then Cardi had a version. And I guess, you know, Bia, she caught Bia, she caught wind of Bia saying that, you know, she copied her, which, I don't know, I've seen a lot of people say that it was a copy. So it wasn't just a thing that Bia was saying. A lot of folks were saying it. But... Anyway, well, I can understand that, you know, if we heard Bia with the Missy Elliott background beat first and then Cardi B come out with that same beat, it does appear that Cardi B copied Bia because Bia came out with it first, even though Cardi B said she purchased the beat before, before what? Do you know when she purchased the beat? That's a good question. You know when she put it out, 
But you don't know. Do, do y'all know when Bia purchased the bead? Huh? And when she dropped the bead, then why do you just say, oh, hell no. Nah. No, 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 no. I'm not about to do that shit. No, nah. she came out with that record. You need to talk to whoever sold you that beat and say, hey, why didn't y'all tell me y'all selling these beats? Okay, y'all selling these beats like goddamn hot dogs. Like the hot dog stand, just giving them out. Set them like government cheese, just giving them out. It, do that make sense? Something ain't adding up. Because you don't know when Bia uh, purchased that. So if I was Cardi B, and I think the most common sense would be like, okay, scratch the song. We're not putting it out here. It's another artist that had that same beat. I am Cardi B. I would never have a same beat as another artist around the same time period. It's just weird. I'm bigger than this. I have money. I got time. Let's scratch it and do something else again. So why did she continue to do it? Is she just lazy? I mean, she have seven years to work. Shit. The next album she come out with, it, it should be a goddamn miracle. Because she have every, seven years to perfect it. And you going to push out a song that another artist already pushed out? Even if you worked on it. Even if you bought it before. Why would you still put it out? Bitch, I would never. It's almost like, honey... If I bought a Versace dress and let a bitch go show up to the party with the Versace dress and say, for instance, we doing a weekend, like a weekend getaway. I'm not wearing that Versace. I'm not wearing that Versace dress that weekend. Hell no. I'm returning that shit and buy something else. Bitch, uh-uh. As if you would never, uh-uh. Take that. No, no, no. Hell no. Mm-mm. No. Maybe I'm just petty. But shit, these are mean girls. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> um, so comment. Let us know what you guys think about that. They said in the song that Cardi B told her to, you know, no, nah, that's something now. All right. That's where all this stems from. But it took you months. It took you, what, two months to address her? this girl comes back in the booth and she uses the telephone sound in the beginning to basically as a, as an homage to your IG live of you airing out their phone call. And I guess in, in the IG live that Cardi made, Cardi was talking about how she's going to sue Bia again, Cardi girl, like where's the album? You're not dropping an album, but you constantly have time to be in court and to address this bitch and address that bitch, girl, give give your fans an album. Give your fans an album. Give your label an album. Like, I don't know. I just would not be, if I was that big of a success, I just don't see myself constantly being online and addressing other bitches. And again, it's just not a fair fight to me because you have partisan writing for Cardi. So really, Bia is fighting who here? She's fighting Megan Thee Stallion's ex. She fighting the man, party, because that's the one that's come with the lyrics. Take party away and you have nothing. You just gonna have Bia versus uh, Cardi B that ran on the blogs. That's it. And maybe that's why she had to rent on the blogs because she know her rapping that song, that's not her. <laughs> that's not her voice. So the only way she can really feel like she said something is when she get on the rants because the music that she produced, it does not come from her. I don't know. That's the only way I can make logic of the shit, okay? But what do you guys, do y'all agree with Jesse? Comment, let us know. Which makes this all just so spicy too because we have Megan who dropped a clip of, of Cardi's verse and it's like, I think that's also like a slight at partisan too. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, this is all just a little bit messy to me. It's, it's mess, but I love it. I love it. Clap your hands if you like mess. But I love it. I don't know if I like mess. I'll be honest with y'all. I cover mess, but.
Hmm. I can do it out. But comment, let us know what you guys think about this. And do you guys like me covering this type of drama, honey? Okay, because I know y'all got y'all own community and y'all do y'all thing different ways. All right, so I want to let you guys know I love you guys. All my messy treats and party crashes. And I will see you guys on another video. Bye.